Hey everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another video where I talk about MechWarrior Online and things I would like to see. So, today, what I want to talk about. Well, five minutes or ish, if kind of more sort of like kind of. Um, I want to talk about heavy weapons. Heavy lasers. Heavy pulse lasers. Heavy ballistics. Uh, AC, basically anything above AC-20. Um... Or even just like an AC-2, a heavy AC-2. I don't know if there's even such thing as a heavy AC-2. Um, you know, heavy ballistics, heavy missiles, and heavy lasers. You know, you know heavy medium pulse, or he he you know, heavy heavy laser, or whatever. Um, so here's what I think. So earlier in a town hall, someone was talking to, uh, or asked Russ about mechs later in the timeline that have heavy weapons in them. He said, well, instituting heavy weapons is going to be a bit of a hard thing to do. We'll have to try to figure out how to put them in the game. I got that for you. Already. Boom. Done. So, got my Grey Death here. Okay. Cool. Grey Death. Now, to upgrade the Grey Death, you have Endo, Pharaoh, Fibro, you name it. Now, there should be a heavy option there, too. I can upgrade one weapon to a heavy weapon. So, for example, my AC-20. I have them on that shoulder. If I can upgrade that to a heavy ballistic slot instead. There you go. Or even when mechs come out, they'll have, you know, four energy, two ballistic, one heavy... Two, or even, you know, two heavy energy... There you go. Four regular energy. Boom. So now it's got two, you know, heavy large lasers, right? Um, kind of use the model they have for, for example, the Auto Cannon 20 here. If you look, it's bigger already than the regular the laser uh, lenses on a mech. So all you got to do really is make those things a little bit bigger and make them a little bit more bulkier. So you have the model done. Basically, just make the model a little bit bigger and a little bit more detailed, obviously, because you're making it bigger. And there you go. Done. Right. There you go. Um, then you have those the heavy lasers. I would love to see heavy weapons in there. I would also see um, indirect fire brought into the game as well. Not through artillery or airstrikes, but missile systems themselves. Um, as there is in World of Tanks and in uh, Armored Warfare, there's an artillery mode. There's artillery vehicles. You hit shift, and instead of zooming in, it zooms out. And you actually get like an above the map view, and you get a little target reticle on your map that gets smaller or bigger as you move your mouse around. And that shows you your spread of your missiles. Or, sorry, your, your artillery rounds. I would love to have a, a, a mode of that like that. Where you have direct fire and indirect. So direct is, I sit in the cockpit, I hit R on, on target, and I fire my missiles. Boom! They hit the target. Now, even if you hit shift instead of V, right? Because V is advanced zoom. So what if you did an artillery? You know, an artillery vision, like artillery view. So, or indirect view. So you hit V, so instead of it zooming in, it zooms out. Out and above. I just hit the roof. Uh, I'm so excited about this. So now, you have a above the map view. Mechs only appear if they're seen. That is it. You can't cheat in mechs, right? So they'll appear and disappear if you can see them or not, which is, in my eyes, a good idea. So, you can only target a mech if you see it, or you can fire indirectly. So you, you know, if you can see them, you should be able to drop rounds on them, right? Now, here's the other thing, too. The only time you can use that view is if someone has, you know, um, a UAV up. So you can pop a UAV up, and it pops up right up right above your mech. Right? So it sits there, and you can, you can have, you know, or even, you, you don't even have a UAV, right? Have it, um, like a specific, um, artillery mode. Where you hit it, the mech is not allowed to move at that time, that moment. The mech is locked into place. So you can hit it, and... So I'm running my, uh... My awesome with my four LRM tens. I stand there. I hit V. Mech stops. I jump up, and of course, it will show everybody on your team. Hey, that guy's currently in, in artillery mode. Because all of a sudden it'll pop up. And it'll show kind of like how the camera is when you're in third person. Instead, it'll show it way above you. 
So even guys on their team will see, hey, artillery's over there, right? And you can target, and you can't, and you can target it because it's just like a UAV. So they can shoot and basically disrupt you in artillery mode. So there's kind of a counter to it, right? Which would be pretty good. Um, also, when you fire off a round, it tells anyone else in artillery mode, hey, there's someone else over here in B3 that just fired off a volley somewhere. So it'll just kind of ping kind of like it does in, um, for seismic almost. So you can almost do like a counter battery mode as well, right? So you're sitting there watching and all of a sudden, boom, you see it ping on one of the corner sections of the map. You move over there and look and you wait. And the player fires off a second volley of these of, of their missiles because in artillery mode or in direct mode they're more spread out but they do a little bit more damage or they don't sorry they do less damage still do a fair amount but you know so instead of doing what you know they'll do like you know one point of damage they'll do 0.5 damage right but you hit more and you get obviously the assists now one of the things that will happen is you fire off that first round someone else in, in artillery mode or indirect mode will see a little ping on their map and they'll say, hold on, there's someone in B3 firing off missiles. So you click the map real quick and it fires you over that section of the map and you sit there and watch. I'm going to cough, I'm sorry. I'm so ex so excited about this, I need a drink of, uh, drink of my coffee. Ah, there we go. So, second round fires off, it pings a little bit more specific. So it'll actually break the map into cor into quarters and ping that quarter a little bit. So just, so you know how every every section of the map, so B3 for example, is broken up into B3, A, B, C, and D. So all of a sudden the C corner, the bottom right one, completely lights up. And then goes away. So I now know, bottom right hand corner of B3, someone is there lobbing tons of missiles. Now this only happens if you don't move. So if I stand there in my awesome, fire off, you know, all 40, all 40 of my missiles, it'll ping. I stand there again, I fire again, it pings again, showing, hey, you know, a little bit more specific. If I still stand there, and the third time I fire off all my missiles, I become available for the other guy to hit in direct fire mode. So all of a sudden, boom, I show up, you can hit R, it locks onto you and you can fire all the missiles. There you go. Now, if I fired off my first 40, and then ran over to B2, and fired it again, it would just ping largely on the map. That's it. So it's kind of like an offset, right? So it also stops people from, from camping with LRMs, which I always notice is a problem, because you'll always get that LRM guy that sits way back in the map, he's got all the range modules, and he'll just sit there and just lob the missiles. And lob them. I've done it before. I know what, right? So that's an I that's an idea, right? So that's it. Just a, so heavy weapons with actual heavy, 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 you know, heavy slots. So heavy energy slots, heavy ballistic slots, heavy missile slots, and then a indirect mode, which also I'd like to add can be done with auto cannon twenties. Yeah, that's right, auto cannon twenty artillery mode. So for example, my gray death here. I hit V in, in in direct mode, and all of a sudden I can zoom out and I can lob all the cannon twenty shells somewhere. How awesome would that be? You're sitting there, you're in B three. There's you know there's four of you. Everyone's got you know there's four of you. Y'all got dual AC twenties, right? <laughs> there's eight AC twenties. You're all standing there waiting, right? All of a sudden there's a, a Kit Fox. And he stands there and he's like, hey guys, there is King Crab over here. He's not moving. Looks like he's waiting for something. Can you guys put in some indirect fire here for me? So everyone goes, no problem. Hit V, indirect. Bring him on your map. You scroll over to the area where he says. He's like, hey, D3, can you lob some rounds in there for me? All four of you, highlight D3, click, and boom. Your two rounds go off, and boom. They land. Which also brings me to the next point. Yeah, the round misses, it misses, right? Doesn't do any damage. But, new types of rounds. New types of rounds. I would love to see them institute armor-piercing shells, high-explosive shells. I would love to see high-explosive shells. 
or which we already kind of have now. So I would like to see armored piercing. Which we, I mean, to be honest with you, the ones we have are kind of, they're kind of mixed, right? When they hit you, they explode. But when they hit the ground, they don't really explode, right? They kind of just hit, but they explode a little bit. So, yeah, I say they're more high explosive than they are actual armor piercing. So I would love, 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 love to see armor piercing rounds, right? If you can sit there and run at someone and put a round right through their shoulder... And it shows, right, that damage that you just rip through their shoulder. And you can do specific crits, right? So if I bring up the, the mech lab here real quick. Like if I fire a shot into this guy's shoulder and I hit, you know, the upper actuator or the lower arm actuator, I want to be able to see that the left arm is not moving as fast. That would be so awesome. I would love to see that. Um, but you know what? I'm going to leave that to the next video. Because I have a whole video I want to rant about, about armor. And, and and types of shells. So, I'm going to leave that to the next time. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to see, leave a message. Uh, leave, a, leave comments in the messages below. Read all my messages, if you haven't noticed already. Uh, yeah, if you want to see any new uh, any new video, vis visual, visual, uh, video, or uh, me learn English, good time, not much. Uh, if you want, if you if you want to see any uh, new, um, you know, visual modes, so we have thermal, we have advanced zoom, and we have uh, night vision. Like I said, mine indirect fire mode. I would love to have an indirect fire mode. But see you guys next time. Have a good night.